And we're live. Good morning, everyone. This is Tailcatcher, and I'll be playing Neverwinter Nights today. I finished my playthrough of Vampire Bloodlines yesterday and decided to go back to Neverwinter Nights. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, how do I switch? Oh, that's right. This is what I do. Click. Alrighty. So I decided to play through Penultima, which is a parody campaign made by Stefan Gagne. Aka two flowers on Twitter. It contains a lot of references to um, the early two thousands, uh, late nineties pop culture. And in my last episode, I finished the first part, which is uh, what was it? The one with the open source mining system uh, reference to Linux, of course. And now, let me see. Yes, I will be here to sell off my loot. Last time I mentioned that um, some of these merchants have better loot than others, but anyway, uh, this is TS Exotics. It looks really not like a weapon shop. Greetings to you. Welcome to TS Exotics, crafters and sellers of exotic weaponry and armor. Can I be of service? It's not exotic women then. <sighs> no, it's not exotic women. You don't know how often leches come in here expecting that. I don't understand why they automatically assume that sort of thing goes on in here. We're simply merchants in the game of death, not the game of love. Then why are you all dressed scantily clad? I believe in a woman's right to self-expression, including in terms of the fashion she selects to wear. It does not imply any sort of tawdry attitude, thank you very much. But why is this place done up in red and pink silk and such? Quick. Uh, just because I happen to have a more feminine approach to interior decoration rather than some stereotypical swarthy male brown leather and black armor and fire everywhere attitude does not mean this place is a brothel. Thank you very much. But you have beds. It's a one-room building, okay? We had to sleep somewhere, and housing prices are ridiculous in this town. It's also a good way to take a break during the middle of the day. But there's four of you and only two beds. Enough already. Do you want to buy some weapons of war or not? Uh, what do you have for sale? Uh, just about anything you can think of relating to the art of war. Faith over there, I think that's her, uh, sells bows, arrows, and other ranged weapons. Hope sells armor and accessories. Purity sells weapons, primarily bladed. Uh, hold on, I need to check something. There we go. Uh, purity sells weapons, primarily bladed. We carry a wide range from simple to exotic, so if, it is, so if it's not here, it probably doesn't exist, or you don't really need it. Okay. Uh, tell me about yourself. Not much to tell. I come from a gypsy clan that settled in Penultima a few generations back. Not much left of the clan now, although the girls here are like family to me. And there's my sister Dawn, who works for those annoying middlemen. I've dedicated my life to acquiring and selling the finest weapons ever seen. So, uh, she's just the intro person. Let's talk to Faith. What can I get you? Hello, I name is Faith. It should be my name is Faith and I'm an expert in ranged weapons. Can I interest you in a bow? Some arrows? A sling, perhaps? Uh, what's with the blood stain by the target there? Uh, we're not supposed to talk about that. There are legal proceedings going on. Uh, tell me about yourself. Me, I'm half dryad out of Moonlight Forest. I don't like the folks here, so I moved. I don't like the folks there, so I moved into the city and met Tia. She hired me on, and now I've got a great career working with the art of archery that I love so much. What's so great about archery? I can't really tell what draws me to it. The taut pull of the bowstring when I tug back with my fingers, the soft feel of the quill as it brushes along my cheek, or the hard shaft that flies straight and true when it releases from my grasp. I feel the same way. That's good. I think more people would appreciate archery if they gave it a chance. <laughs> that was a very suggestive way of describing archery. Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. Alright, so... To gauge the prices, uh, I guess I'm gonna go by this. So she would buy my two stack of cappuccino for 390 GP. Let's try the other merchants. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello Hope there. Evermore. Hello, my name is Hope and I'm a blacksmith. I've got a wide array of armor available, both custom made and procured from the deepest dungeons of Penultima. What's with all the busted up army gear? Oh, it's just some repair work I'm doing for a boy down at Passgate Fortress. I don't know why he wanted me to do it. Since it took Don a long time to ferry the stuff down here, I think maybe he likes me, poor guy. 
Uh, I'm interested in buying. Oh, tell me about yourself. Me, there's not really much to say. My dad is the, the blacksmith for a stout village, and he taught me everything I know. Well, most of it. The rest was self-taught since he changed his mind about things, saying being a blacksmith wasn't ladylike. But ladylike or not, it's treated me well so far. And I've made a lot of terrific armor, so nobody has to go out adventuring without being safe from harm. Yeah, I'm interested in buying some armor. So it is also three ninety. Interesting. So, same price? Hmm, I didn't see a praise. Oh, was this module made before the appraise thing was was added to the game? Greetings and well met. Purity Chastain. Hail to you and all of that. I've got a stock of fine blades and other things for cutting your enemy down like so many blades of grass. That is, if you're strong enough to use them, what'll it be? What's with the shackles on that bed? Mind your own business. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I like to kill. That's really all you need to know. Got it? I'd like to buy stuff. Okay, 360. So basically, Hope and uh, what's her name, Faith, give me the same price. She has a slightly worse uh -huh. price, so I'll sell my stuff to her. Okay, sell, sell. I don't need that. I can't use that. Ooh, she can buy uh, traps. I already have that. I don't need this. Ooh, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Play Goblin. Don't need this. Don't need this. Definitely do not need that. Oh, there's more to sell. Ooh, interesting. So the other trap was not considered stolen goods, but this one is. Hmm. Nine pounds, six pounds. I'm gonna sell this. Interesting. So I don't have. I might have to buy an item with lore. Because I'd rather not identify it using 100 GP. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. Sting. Supposedly, supposedly it glows blue when orcs are near, but after a number of lawsuits against the manufacturer, that aspect had to be removed. Still, it's pretty handy for cutting up orcs, glowing or non glowing. I can't use this. Let's sell it. Let's sell these other stuff I don't use, then sort out our inventory. I don't really need this. There's no crafting in this uh, module, if I recall correctly. Alright, let's stack that. Put that here. And I think that's it. So now I have a little bit less than 9,000 gold, which means I can probably buy that damage re damage reduction robe from Untrustworthy Bastard. But this is uh, part of the build I'm trying to go for. Uh, I got money to burn. Okay, where is it? Here it is, Adventurous Robe. So the Adventurous Robe basically reduces all weapon damage, all weapon damage from non-magical weapons by 5, which is a lot. Uh, I will be buying that and getting rid of my edgy armor. The one thing I can do though is uh, modify this using the craft skill. I can add a robe even though I don't have any craft armor uh, ranks. I can add one for free. So let's see, wizard's robe, sleeveless wizard's robe, formal robe. Yeah, I'm going to go with the wizard's robe. Make the changes. And so now I look like a proper spellcaster with a porn stash. Alright, so. Uh, let's see. Next thing I want to do is. Hmm. Grandma Skullcracker's Adventuring Shop. Uh. You, is she a merchant? I think she, yeah, she is a merchant. I'm not sure if she buys stolen items. Yes, what? Well, hello there, dearie. Grandma Skull Splitter, barbarian warrior, retired, and merchant at your service. Welcome to my humble home. What can I do for you? Barbarian grandmother? It's not all blood and gold and war cries, you know. After a while, even the most hearted leather wearing warrior has to settle down. Really ponder what he wants to do with life. 
In my case, I met Nigel Thunderblade, made a poor fellow rest in peace, and had six kids by him, which is what I think did him in, actually. Any relations to, to Lady Skullsplitter, legendary barbarian heroine? Ah, that was 30 years and several armor sizes ago. I'm happily retired now, although I still head out to bust a few goblins now and then. It's a quiet valley, so not much of that needed, but it keeps the old sharp arc. It keeps the old axe sharp. You are a real looker in your day. Oh, stop, you're flattering me. That's so sweet of you, dearie, but looks don't really matter as long as you can swing the axe hard enough to split a boulder in twain. They do help with bartering for goods, except with me, mind you. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to be in your presence, my lady. Your deeds were indeed noble. Mm, would it go so far to say noble? True, I saved a few villages from extinction by monsters, but I've also looted ancient temples and stolen from kings. Mostly bad kings, of course. Would it do... It wouldn't do to rob a good king. I try to stay on the right side of the line, but the barbarian's gotta do what the barbarian's gotta do. Can you teach me how to be a legend like you? It's not all that hard, really. You just need the right personality for it. The sort that seeks out glory and gold. Not fame, mind you. Grasp it for that blatantly usually backfires in your face. Just glory, even if it's personal glory. When the time is right, fame will come along naturally. And always wear a sweater when it's cold, even under your armor. Too many potential heroes dropping dead of pneumonia these days. I'll be going now, thanks. Don't be a stranger, dearie, and make sure you're always wearing a clean loincloth. Yes, what? Alright, so... This is a shop too, right? I'd like to buy stuff. Can you buy... Yes, she does buy the stolen items. So, Cloak of Movement, we can buy it here for 1600 That's nice. Grandma's armor. It's Grandma Skullcracker's armor. She had to have it expanded a bit over, as the years went by and the pounds went on, but it's still quite serviceable. Skullcracker, Skull Splitter. It's a running gag in this game that uh, her name keeps changing Skull Splitter, Skull, Skull Cracker. I don't know if it was intentional by the mod author, but it's <laughs> it's something. You, you'll probably notice it if you're, I guess, as detail oriented as me. And notices such things. All right, so that's the tavern. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's move on with the quest. I greet you. Hello, welcome to the Guild of Middlemen. Can I assist you? I'm an adventurer looking for a job. We currently have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already read this. Bring it. Dewey's Decimal. That's the second part of the campaign. Read me before playing, I shall. Penultimate number 2, Dewey's Decimal, version 1.4. Module rules and notes. This module is intended for level 4 to 10 characters and should scale properly. There is no XP or gold penalty for death, but you will be returned to the library, he library health clinic if you die. This module is geared towards role-playing plus action. There are plenty of battles, but lots of quests and conversation too. It's best suited for tightly knit groups that stick together or solo players. That's me! If one guy zooms ahead and hacks everything apart and solves all the quests, it's no fun for the others and the end can kick you out. You may want to have your party leader handle conversations with NPCs to clear up window clutter. That, that's me. Keep track of your quest journal. It tells you what needs to be done next. Subquests will also be available. This is not Diablo. The goal is not to just mindlessly trash monsters. You have a job to do. This is part of an ongoing campaign available at a website that no longer exists. Some plot points won't make sense until the rest of the modules are played. If you haven't played the earlier episodes, talk to the Magical Plot Fairy for a quick plot recap. Nutshell summary, last week you fought some goblins and, and a mysterious little wizard girl nearly kicked your ass. Happy face. When ready, head out the double doors, track that Dewey plowshare in the library, and ask him about the job he wants you to do. So, let's have a plot recap. Hello, I'm the Magical Plot Fairy. Do you need a recap of what happened in the first module of the penultimate campaign, aside from getting two copies of Play Goblins? Sure. Yeah, my memory's pretty spotty. In Pest Control, you were asked to clean out Glod Glodson's mind of a, of a goblin infestation. It started out pretty simple, but then you discovered a vast underground temple the goblins had broken through to, and a mysterious little girl with a glowing staff who told you to go away, or else. You pressed on, eventually battling the girl, the goblin, and even a minotaur. She swore revenge on you and vanished. Glod said he'd never seen a temple down there and didn't know who she is. You also met Don Ayoza, a courier who pops up here and there around the country. There was some other stuff, but if you want the full story, you should play the other modules, and that's my story. Thank you, Magical Plot Fairy. 
It's a living. I greet you. Hello, welcome to the Guild of Middlemen. I have an assignment for you from a student at the penultimate University of Thaumatology. Thaumatological science, puts. Are you ready to accept the job? Sure, what are the details? A student named Dewey Plowshare is in need of your help. I don't have many more details than that, except that the work involves great danger, which is the norm around here. You'll find him in the Greater Library at the University. I believe you also mentioned you were interested in knowing more about the strange little girl you met. I know Archdean Spiro of the University personally, and he could help you in that regard while you're working for Dewey. Just something to keep in mind. Before you go, I suggest you read the side behind me, I already did, and talk to the fairy if you haven't worked with us before, I already did. Good luck! Alrighty, time to go. Journal updated. Investigate the mysterious girl. Technically, you're here to track down Dewey Plowshare who has a job for you, but it might be a good time to find out more about the strange little girl you met in Glodson's mine. Or don't, your choice. Lee Ping, a typical student at the penultimate University of Thaumatological Science. Hi there. Turn, parry, thrust, dodge, spin, no wait, oh, hey there. Hey to you too, are you a student here? Yep, second year into applied magic, though, uh, I'm not that great at it, though. I'm thinking of, a ch of changing careers, maybe a fighting monk or something. Nice staff. It's kind of heavy. But we're supposed to keep them with us at all times. It's part of the uniform. Red gems for applied magic, green for biology, blue for magicanical engineering, yellow for planar studies. I wish they'd upgrade to wands. It's hard to wave these things around. Uh, what are you doing? I'm supposed to be studying my attack spells, but I'm actually practicing my martial arts. It's more fun than boring old magic spells. Less confusing, too. Where can I find Dewey Plowshare? He's got a job for me. Do we? Oh yeah, he's in my fire element studies class. I think he's in Greater Library. It's the tower over the other side of the Octo. Other side of the Octo? Uh, right there. My, my draw distance is too short to see it. Uh, later. Greater Library, there it is. This one is Io Iola Lifetal. Well met. Your presence is interfering with my harmonic study of this plane. State your purpose and then leave me be, please. What are you doing? I am studying the harmony of this plane. The growing green life here aids me in this process. The other locales on campus exist on other planes and are more difficult objects of study. Nice staff! It is a superior work to the simple staffs that students of the other departments receive. Only those who are powerful enough to master the arts of planar studies are granted this boon. Bye! Sundial. <laughs> the time is time to study more. <laughs> so the sundial in the base campaign of Neverwinter Nights actually uh, tells you the time when the sun is out. And if it's dark, it says, oh, it's dark. You don't know what it is or, you know, it doesn't work that way. What do you want? I'm busy here. What do you want? What are you working on? It's an engine for carriages powered strictly by thoms. If I can make it work without emitting too much thaumatological radiation, it'll revolutionize transportation throughout Penultima. And it's only in alpha testing, so I just so I suggest you stand back a bit. In fact, just go away, please. That's a different uniform. Are you a teacher? Teacher, try head of the magicanical engineering department, left hand of Archdean Spiro. Why don't you go bug him over uh, why don't you go bug him instead of me? He's in the building over there, away from me. As you were, whatever books. The Thom, an overview. This book goes into painstaking as in painful as taking yourself through the hard detail until the mathematical unit of math ma magical measurement, the Thom. Uh, there's enough numbers in here that if laid end to end, they stretch from penultimate to the realms, which are not as forgotten, the forgotten realms. Okay, let's grab that. Basics of Magicanical Engineering. Supposedly the basics, but it's packed thick with complicated mathematical theorems that link the, the arcane mysteries of magic to the hard realities of science. And it's way beyond your reading level, no matter how bright you are. This is weird and wooly territory few wizards care to journey within. Quick. Okay, let's pull up our map. Administration, yeah, this is the place we need to go. Hey, there's a deer. There's the archdean. Greetings. 
Hello and welcome, Plowshare. I am Archdean Spiro. Can I be of assistance in your journey? Uh, how did you know my name before I ever met you? I'd like to say it was a mysterious power of mine, but truth be told, Don Ayoza was in here earlier, and she told me about your little jaunt in Glodson's mine. It sounds like you had quite an adventure, and here you are aiding our own Dewey Plowshare for a follow-up. I do hope you're up for it. Our library is not for the faint of heart. How did you know about Dewey's job? Ah, that was a mysterious power of mine, actually. You know Don Ayoza? Who doesn't know her? She's the second most recognizable face in Penultima, behind perhaps King Bob. Or was it King Rob? Hmm, perhaps the first most recognizable face then. This is the administration building? Certainly, one of the rooms thereof. There's an enchantment on the door which takes you to the room you wish to visit, or need to visit, whether you know it or not. Rather a nice piece of work, if I do say so myself. Wish I could take credit for it. It was the doing of the Archdean before me. Yeah, but this doesn't look like a room exactly. Later studies, of course. A poor old fellow like me can't be cooped up indoors all the time in a dusty old stone building. It's bad for my health. So I established my own little pocket of the great outdoors in the great beyond. It's quite peaceful here. Feel free to stay for some tea if you like. Uh, okay. I'd like to ask you some questions about your school and students. And I'd like to answer them. I trust you have a great deal you wish to know, and I'll do what I can to aid you. Your school doesn't seem to follow traditional school of magic patterns. No, not particularly. Abjuration, conjuration, divination. We've boiled it all down into four areas of focus. Simply because magic has been compartmentalized in such ways for thousands of years does not mean it must be so for all time. It doesn't make us popular with other schools, but it allows us to provide a unique perspective for, pers for prospective students. We're also one of the only schools giving serious thought towards the integration of science and magic, which I believe is the future of our industry. But I suppose time will tell, hmm? Is it true what they say about magical ways from this school polluting Dayglow Forest? Simply untrue. I understand the root of that rumor. Dayglow Forest is a stone's throwaway, and we do study untraditional magical arts. However, I've always insisted on running a clean school with little to no waste. As for the source of Dayglow Forest's many problems, well, it's nothing you need to worry about, or myself, really. I met a young girl in Glodson's mind, that's a typo, that you could help me identify. Yes, Don mentioned that to me, and if it will help you put your mind at ease, I can identify her. Two months ago, a dark wizard named Viscera Malevolent built a castle atop the tallest peak in Penultima to act as his retirement home. I had tea with him on numerous occasions. He really was a quiet and pleasant sort. Either the rumors about his past were untrue, or he simply had put it all behind him. It's not my place to judge a fellow worker of the craft. Viscera Malevolent had a young daughter of 12 years age, either his natural daughter or, or adoptive, I do not know. He doted on her endlessly, as if she was the only true light in his life. With my approval, he enrolled her in our planar studies department. Despite being so young in age, she was quite an adept wizard already. Her name? Sally Malevolent. However, as you may have heard, a peasant uprising destroy, uh, resulted in the destruction of Malevolent Keep and the death of Viscera Malevolent. Sally was visiting her father at the time it happened, and I had assumed she died in the rain. Only now, it seems you met her at the bottom of Glodson's mine. What a surprise to me when Dawn told me, needless to say. Yeah, quest complete. I'm not sure where she may be now, or what she may be doing. It is a concern of mine, of course, and I have aides looking for her. Do you have other questions? Mm. That's all the questions I have for now. Alright, if you think of anything else you want to ask about, let me know. So while we're here, we're going to loot everything, because this module doesn't have, uh, I guess, theft enforcement. Like, in some modules, if you steal stuff from people, uh, they get pissed off. But here, you can freely loot everything. And we can sell these once we get back to Penultima City. For more money and equipment. There we go. And while we're at it, uh, let's actually summon our minions, my familiar and my boar. Now that I had damage reduction, I have less need to cast uh, mage armor on myself, so I can cast them on my minions. So I'm supposed to uh, talk to uh, Dewey in the library. So. Anyway, uh, Ursula God. Uh, where's the rest of you? 
I accidentally turned myself invisible this morning. It's awful. Nurse Elmer says it'll wear off in two days, but this is just so embarrassing. Ah, don't stare, please. Do you know where I can find Dewey Plowshare? What? I don't know. He's not in my major. I'm in biology. Sorry. Sorry for staring. I'll be going now. Okay, so enough screwing around. Let's go to the library. In case you haven't noticed, uh, his name is a reference to the Dewey Decimal System. And Plowshare is a reference to his major, Applied Magic. Applied Magic is uh, the art of blowing up stuff. And the USA once had a thing called Project Plowshare, in which they um, experimented with the use of nuclear weapons for peaceful purposes, including agriculture. So basically using nukes for agriculture. It did not pan out well, but I did borrow the name Plowshare the Sorcerer from Dewey Plowshare and Project Plowshare. So there you go, a bit of history. Hello. You're here, finally. I was getting worried. The Guild of Middlemen said you set off for Penultima City a while ago. Are you ready to start that job? I've only got a few days before finals and I need that paper. Hey, slow down. I'm here for the job. Now, what do you want me to do? It's like this. I'm a farmer from a long line of farmers. Farmers! Plowshare. Project Plowshare. But my great-grandfather went to this school and wrote a great thesis paper called Operation Plowshare, or Project Plowshare in our world, that uses destructive magic, nukes, to do landscaping and farm work. I need a copy of the paper so I can continue his research, but, but it's deep within the library. I'm just a first-year student. I'd never survive the journey. I need you to get the paper for me. Understood. I'll have it booked for you before you can say, quote, unquote. Oh, thank goodness. I'll wait here. Let me know if you have any problems or anything. Maybe I can help from this floor. And don't worry if you die. I'm sure some... <laughs> and don't worry if you die. I'm sure some nice student will drag your body up here for Nurse Elmore to heal. She can sell you helpful items too. Good luck. That's really fucking ominous. Librarian. Shh, this is a library. Sorry, sorry. Library map. To your left, information desk, book checkout. To your right, medical ward. Ahead of you to the left, portals to book sections. Only authorized students or student aides may enter book sections, and special authorization is required to visit the planar study section. No talking under penalty of transmogrification. Actually, let's show that off. What do you want? What? I can't hear you! You want me to summon the guardian willowist to fry you or you stand? No. Then shh. I think you just instantly die if you uh if if you, that happens. All right, uh, shaft of light. Apply it magic section. Yeah, this is where we need, we need to go. And now, before we continue, let's cast the buffs on these folks, on these minions of mine. Library guardian. Yeah, we can. If the combat is too hard, we can lure the enemies there for the library guardian to, to kill. Tain Alnes. Warm winds and hello. Student aides, right? Probably Dewey's. He's too weak for this department. Real applied magic students go it alone down here. Well, welcome to the AM student lounge. What's applied magic mean anyway? It's a fancy word this school thought up for spells you can kill people with. Blowing stuff up, lighting things on fire, you know, combat magic. They just don't like to admit what it's really used, uh, what it's really supposed to be used for. So it's called applied magic. Oh, you wouldn't happen to have a sister, would you? I would happen to have five of them, but we're not a close family. So anything one of the others did to you, none of my business. Take it up with them. I do my own thing. What? Well, uh, where can I find the thesis paper room? There used to be a shortcut teleporter some grad student installed right at the corner of the portal platform, but it broke down and nobody's repaired it. You'll have to take the long way around. You go through some rooms here, go uh, down the double corridor, through the storage stacks, and there's a tiny little room in the back. Good luck. There's a lot of monsters around today. Monsters in a library? In a magical library that's been jammed parallel to... Wrong. Typo. Parallel to known reality, yes. They just sort of pop up, sometimes out of thin air. That's why wimpy students like Dewey hire aides to get books for them. Hope you make it out alive. I'll be going now. Alright, so... Oops, there's uh, monsters there. I'm gonna have y'all... Ow! I hear the battle calling! Okay, so I will have to magic missile these guys. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna die here. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. There we go. Actually, hold on. I need. That's a fire method, so Ray of Frost would deal a lot of damage to it. Got it. Magma method also takes bonus damage from cold. Dead. There we go. I think they're just having a silly fight here. If I recall correctly, they have magic uh, spell resistance, so my uh, my uh, spell penetration should come in handy. Yep. Oh, wow. Also, they regenerate, so I have to kill them as quickly as possible before they heal too much. Dead. I think I can just Ray of Frost for one last time. There, got him. Wow, that was a harder fight than usual. I blew out almost all of my spells. Ooh, loot. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, this library has respawning monsters, so I shouldn't screw around too much. Probably not respawning monsters, more like there are like triggers up ahead that spawn more monsters as you go back. So, while we're here, let's loot everything. And I'm actually gonna rest again. I might actually just uh, leave the mage armor... I'm just gonna keep my first level spell slots instead of casting mage armor because I will probably need it. Quick save, let's go! So, I think this one goes further in. I'm gonna try to complete as much of this level as possible for the XP. It's easy XP. Okay. Let me take the lead. Come here. Pathing, come on. I hear the battle calling. Oh, fire elementals. I'll have to spam this spell. Dead. They're giving me nice XP. At least. Got him. gonna spam spells at them until they die. That's why this game is unlimited resting, because otherwise I would not be able to finish this area. Alright, that's done. Squeak. Hey, there's two imps. Let's magic missile them to death. Attack. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Ow! Ow, ow, ow. That was close. Uh, one of the nice things about Pseudo Dragons is that they have true sight, so he can, he can actually attack them, even though I can't. Ah, they revealed themselves. Nice. I'm just going to magic missile them to death. Interrupted. Dead. There we go. Where's the imp? Imp damages torches. There you go. It's, he's decloaked. And they only have two magic missiles left. Oh, ow, that hurt. Oh. 
And dead. Okay, that was close. There we go. And we're gonna resummon our familiar. And rest up for a bit. <laughs> After only two combats, I'm having to rest. Whatever. Whatever works. <laughs> This area is pretty dangerous because they don't attack AC or uh, they don't use, use physical attacks mostly. They mostly use uh, magical attacks and I have no resistance. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Okay, go attack. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Magma method. Let's take that out first. Because uh, we deal bonus damage with Ray of Frost. Got him. Now we have Ice, Dust, and yeah, we'll just have to uh, Magic Missile them to death. And we'll probably have to resummon another boar. Because our current boar is dying. Oh, it's dead already. Yep, we'll have to resummon. The fights in this game are pretty challenging. Dead. Okay, uh, Earth Method. You're next. There we go. I won't have to issue more commands until later. Oh, familiar's dead. Resummon. And I guess we'll just use this. What is that? F10? There we go. I'm just gonna whittle it down. This is gonna take a while. I might have to dip into my wand. There, got him. And rest. We're like resting after each combat. This is. A pretty challenging module. I might need another offensive spell aside from my uh, boar. Probably acid arrow next time. Do I have any resistance spell? No, I do not. Ah, help me! There's hook horrors. Attack! You have got to see. I hear the battle calling. Attack! All right, so I guess I'm gonna magic missile them. Follow. Uh, attack. Got him. Ooh, 100 XP. Nice. I don't think she can die. She, I think she's invulnerable, so we don't have to worry about that. Got him! Nice! Let's loot, and uh, let's talk to this lady. Tal Poultice, she's a student. Hello there! Wow, I was worried there for a minute. That I got. Uh, wow, well, I was worried there for a minute that it got an in over my head. Thanks. Here's something for you in reward. Quite welcome. Hundred GP. Yeah. Quick save. So we are less than five. We're just about slightly over four hundred more XP until we level up. 
So let's stack this here. Arrow goes here. We can sell these for one GP. Back home, and we're gonna rest again. <laughs> uh, it's a five minute adventuring day. Oh, goodness. Uh. Oops, hit my mic. Uh, stretch. Okay, uh, next chamber. Wait, someone was casting something. What was that? I just heard someone cast- oh! Goblins! Okay, that's- that's easy. I can actually melee them, because they're just physical attackers. They can't- they can't really hurt me, because I have too much damage reduction. And he oh he can bite he has a magical weapon so he can actually hit my uh he can bypass my damage reduction that sucks so I have to hit to magic missile this guy I'm gonna have to rest again after this. Got him. Okay, so yep, yeah, we're, we're at least we're getting good XP though, even if it's a bit tedious. Rest again. All right. So, let's save. I think this is the part where we run into air elementals. Yep, it is. No, it's just methods. Attack! I hear the battle calling. Attack! Ow. Oh, did my summon die? Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot to resummon. That's it. Alright, let's heal ourselves before continuing. Dust and magma, so that's just magic missile. Dead. There we go, one more. Got him. Quick save. I think this is the part where we fight a Minotaur. I think. Yes, it is. It's the Minotaur. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. I might have to uh, mage armor you two. You're gonna have 24 AC, and you're gonna have 20 AC. All right. So I might have to even use my haste spell, or I could cast haste on. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna use haste on these two instead of me. That might be more efficient. I'll just have them fight for me. There we go. Yep, that's more efficient than uh, me using my wand. Challenging. And they're dead, yeah! I did use two haste potions with whatever, or the cappuccinos. Alright. Pieces paper room. Mysterious girl. There she is again. So that's how the ritual did work. Hmm. Who's there? Ah! There are books here. 
Cold passphrases for dummies. The cult of Dagnar Del Nav uses an interesting passphrase system to identify members. An exchange of phrases he used were what matters is not the words, but the element the sentence relates to. For example, his rage burns in my soul would be fire. The wind scrapes across my skin would be air. The mapping of sign to counter sign is as follows. Water to earth, earth to fire, fire to air, air and water. Water, earth, fire, air. And she runs away. And we went all the way here to find nothing. Get a book for Dewey. Dewey Plowshare needs a paper one of his ancestors wrote entitled Operation Plowshare. He's authorized you to act as his library aid with, a per with permission to go to various sections of the library. Get the book from the thesis paper subsection of the Applied Magic section and bring it back to Dewey. Applied. There it is. Notice, Operation Plowshare moved to Planar Studies. The thesis paper entitled Operation Plowshare, due to its dangerous nature as per re-evaluation by the Committee for Classification of risk prone Magical Procedures, has been relocated to the Restricted Planar Studies section. Crap. Looks like Operation Plowshare has been moved to Planar Studies section, which is restricted. Check with Dewey to see what he wants you to do about this. Quickie teleport to library. All right. How convenient. And let's rest. So we are 35 XP away from leveling up, which means probably killing one more monster. That should give us three missiles per magic missile. And also more known spells. How's it going so far? Any problems? What's going on? Do you have Operation Plowshare yet? Well, huh? Huh? We've got a problem. They moved the book to Planar Studies. Can you get me in? Planar Studies? Shh. Planar Studies? That's bad. Very bad. I can't give you access to it. I'm just in Applied Magic. Let me think. Let me think. Think. Ralph. Yes, Ralph Neckerson. He's majoring in Planar Studies with a minor in Magicanical Engineering. He owes me a favor. Ask him to give you access. Okay, so where's this Ralph Neckerson guy now? Last I saw, he was somewhere in the Magicanical Engineering section. Start looking for him there. He'll help. I know he will. End dialogue. The Magicanical Engineering is blue. I think Ralph Neckerson is to the left. But first, let's summon our monsters. Oh hey, it's a uh, rusted Minagon. I'm gonna have y'all fight that for me. Aggro it and have it uh, attack me. I hear the battle calling! Attack! Alright. I need to de-aggro it and have them fight it. Oh, it deals damage! Ow! Instead of stunning people. And it's actually very difficult, so I actually need to cast spells to kill it. <laughs> Ow! But hey, I leveled up! Fuck yeah! Alright. Sorcerer, Appraise, Concentration, Lore, Persuasion, Persuade, and Spellcraft. Click. Now let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, I'm actually gonna probably get uh, Endure Elements because there's a lot of elemental damage here and I'd rather not get exploded real quickly. Now, for my second level spell, I'm probably going to get uh, Melf's Acid Arrow for daily damage. This module actually has some difficult enemies in it, and I can't just rely on buffs and other efficient but slow and grindy ways of dealing with threats. I actually need something that works now.
There we go. And I believe Ralph Nickerson is here on the bottom left. Or rather, southwest of this area. If we're right here, like you could you could hear like music playing. Right there. There's Ralph Neckerson. He just has a normal description desk. Let's rob his let's take his four gold. Yes. Do make it quick. What do you want? I'm pretty busy here studying. Uh Dewey Plasher sent me. Can you give me access to planar studies? Dewey, what does that freshman twit want? Oh, you need planar studies access. Yeah, I can grant that to you. But why should I? I mean, yay, you're running an errand for Dewey. What's in it for me? My thanks? Ah, <laughs> no deal. Let me think. I got it. I've got this problem. See, I was doing a planar studies homework assignment and accidentally sucked part of my dorm, a dorm room into a dimension of evil. If the, if the faculty finds out, I'm toast. If you tell them, you're toast. But if you go to my dorm room and clear out the monsters, I'll give you a planar studies access. Sounds good? Sounds good? Not particularly, but I'll do it. Excellent. Now that you've got my permission, you'll be able to enter the dormitory portal up on the octo level. I'm in room 505. Better arm yourself before you open the door. Come back here when you've cleared it out, and we'll talk about this planar studies issue. Get moving. Chop chop. Alrighty. So, while we're here, let's do a few side quests. And by few side quests, I think it's just one. For this air band here. It's upon a hair band, I think. Nord, Poundheader, Ray Ottoman, Lance Boilsman. Hello. Hold on, hold on, guys. We've got a visitor. Uh, what are you three doing back here? Practicing where Penultimus find us an only air band. Air band, as in a, upon a hair band. Uh, ba uh, back in the days, like 80s, 70s, where they had these uh, musicians with really, really long hair. I need to stop hitting my mic. Because it's thumping the thing. Uh, but we gotta practice like there's so tomorrow if we're gonna be ready for the concert tomorrow. Air band? Who needs instruments when you can wave your hands and conjure music out of the very air, man? It's very modern, you know? And it sounds great when it works. My man lands there's on bass. Yo. And on drums we got North. Beat drums, beat drums! And together we are Negative Energy Ray and the Enchanters. Sweet, huh? Oh, uh, sweet. Thanks, man. Anything I can do to help? Actually, yeah. See, we're gonna be too busy getting ready for the concert to really promote the concert. Can you go telling? Can you go around telling people? It'll be tomorrow at the ME Theater, Magicanical Engineering Theater. If you can get five people to agree to go, I'll give you something really, really awesome. Deal? Sure, why not? Great. Come back when you've got five people to agree. For now, gotta get practice and good luck, man. So we're gonna we're gonna go around this area uh, asking people to. You know go to their show and also we're gonna go around looting stuff because there's a lot of loot in this area and a lot of monsters to kill so it's dungeon it's dungeon crawling with plot oh rusted minigon retreat for a bit and attack them I mean ah! oh hey he has a fire breath now Oh, it got absorbed. That's nice. Got him. You can actually just uh, melee him to death. Oops. You don't have a magical weapon, so I'm going to absorb a lot of damage from you. Okay, that's going to get me killed. Fuck. I'm dead. <laughs> respawn. Thankfully, there's no penalty for respawning. Uh, okay. Hello there. What do you have for sale to help me down there? Oh, potions. Lots of them. And, oh, armor. But I'm not going for that. I'm going for a retaliation build. I don't need any of that. I'm just going to sell stuff. You're actually a merchant, so I can sell stuff to you. Okay. I don't need this. I don't need this. Uh, 
There we go. And back to act. Back to the action. Actually, this is a convenient way for me to teleport. Uh, interested in going to an air band concert tomorrow? Can't say I am, no. I just realized that you can die in this game and get teleported to the clinic for free. Roger that, ain't spotted none yet. I, wait a minute, Earl, what do you want? What are you doing? I'm on a two-way magical link thingy talking to Earl in the classroom building. We're hunted down rats. Little buggers is all over the place. Excuse me, gotta get back to it. Hello. Your buddy Ralph is a real charmer. How's it going so far? Any problems? It's going <laughs> you just says the same thing. Your buddy Ralph is a real charmer. Actually, he has a lot of trouble getting dates. And he's making me run an errand before he'll give me the planar studies pass. Oh, well, okay, as long as he gives it to you after. Whatever it takes to get that thesis paper. What do you want? Interested in going to an air band concert tomorrow? Do I look like the sort who would be interested in that infernally loud noise those students call music? Oh, right. So I actually saved time by getting killed there, because there's no XP penalty or gold penalty for dying. So while we're here, let's ask random people to go to an air band concert. I know these two won't go, but I think Li Ping will. And some of the people in the dorms might, I think. There he is. Hi there. Interested in going to an air band concert tomorrow? Air band? Oh, do you mean race band? Hey, I didn't know that he managed to get a concert together. Sure, count me in. That's one. Let's try this lady. Well met. Uh, air band. Nah, he's, she's not interested. So, fuck it. Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna rest and resummon my minions. And then, uh, summon my familiar. There we go, got it. Let's go to the dorms. Floor 5. There's one guy here. Oscar Gen. Study, study, study. <laughs> ah, he doesn't talk. These are all locked. Time for a nice hot shower. Ah! Yep. Five oh five. All right, so it's a pan dimensional spider. Let's acid arrow it. Attack. I fear the battle calling. Attack. Oh, that was that was anticlimactic. It just died. So quickly. Come to me, my bro. Oh, there's more. Fuck. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Uh, uh, fire beetle. The wraith spider there. I need a clear shot. Okay, let's acid arrow. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Dead. And the next one. Oh, ow, that hurts. And dead. And now we have to rest again. So, what did the spider say to me, my brethren, or something? Invaders, come to me, my brothers. Anyway, time to go back. Need to go to the greater library. There it is. Actually, I'm going to stop by uh, administration first. I think the the dean is 
willing to go to the Air Band concert. Oh, it decreases strength and constitution. That's a nasty poison. Greetings. Interested in going to an Air Band concert tomorrow? I believe you mean negative energy ray and the enchanters, yes. By all means, I will be attending. It does my heart well to see young people finding new and interesting applications of magic. Great, thanks. Rest. Resting. Uh, stretch. Okay, I did hit my mic this time. <coughs> All right, back to the not classrooms, the greater library uh, dormitories. There we go. Across the octagon, the oct. It's quite slow walking around without any haste boots, but it's actually not bad compared to other games. There we go, Magicanical Engineering. Well, while we're here, let's explore and talk to more people. That air band thing. Are there monsters here? Yes, there are. There are rats. Holy fuck. Go get them, get them. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Oh, they got exploded. Oh. oh, the Guardian's there. Nice. We're just one-shotting them for Acid Arrow. They have a really large amount of damage reduction, but no elemental resistance. So we can just use magic to kill them. And they're all dead. There we go. Now let's go here. There's like a chest there. Which I think is a ob really, really obvious trap. Stay close and cover my back. So we're going to possess uh, torches and have him uh, open that thing. Because this is basically a, uh, a huge, huge trap. <laughs> he got blown up. Quick save. Oh! <laughs> ah, god damn it. Ah... Uh, it doesn't get this arm. Actually, I think that's a convenient way to teleport back to the library. Now that I think about it. Um, fuck. Alright, let's rest. Hey, it's a practical use of magic since they have really nice healthcare in this school. You can just kill yourself to teleport yourself back to the library. And that's what you call applied magic. Alright, where was I? I think I need to go to the right. Hey, there's these two folks. David DeVince and Grod Heavyfoot. Hi there. Hey look, it's a student aide. Go figure. What can we do for you, student aide? Uh, interested in going to an airband concert tomorrow? And lose our place in line? Are you nuts? Hi there. Uh, why are you two camped out down here? The dramatical, magicanical, fantastical players troupe are going to be performing their famous War of the Stars play one room over. We're waiting in line for tickets. Better to be here earlier than later. So this is a reference to those uh, crazy people who camped out. Uh, at theaters to buy tickets to the Star Wars prequel, The Phantom Menace. It was insane back then. Hey, great. Maybe I'll catch a show when I finish my job. What time? Time, try date. It'll be in two months. You have no idea how popular their plays are. I mean, even if the last prequel... <laughs> 
Even if the last prequel sucked pretty bad, this was bound to be better. And we'll be first in line. Until then, we're just studying for tests and sleeping in shifts and playing sorcery to collecting. Uh, too far away from my taste. Good luck, though. Thanks. If you change your mind and want us to hold you a space, you know where we are. Hello there. I'm studying. Talk to David. Anyway, let's explore more. That looks like oh, it's a wee rat pen. Nice. Got him. One more. This we're gonna magic pistol the rear rats. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's rest here for a bit so we can resummon our boar just to tank for us while we basically blast everything to bits. Hey, it's another Minagon. I hear the battle it calling. Missed. Attack! Oh, it's stuck. Nice. Ortano, for Ortano, for we got it. And we're gonna go back to Ralph Necrosin. Yes? Do make it quick. Well, if it isn't my good friend, Mr. Plowshare, how's it going? Uh, interested in going to an airband concert tomorrow? You mean that racket from the Western Sub Corridor, which is screwing my study? Forget it. Yes? Do make it quick. I took care of your bug problem. Wow, really? Great. I mean, I'd have handled it myself, but well, you'll be wanting to play in our studies pass now, right? Hand it over, preppy boy. Hold it. I didn't say I was giving it to you. Just asking if you wanted it. Me, I'm not sure I should give it over. I mean, you're just aides, not real students. You don't really do. You you really don't deserve to walk the halls with my fellow planar study students. If you could earn your way, you, but you could earn your way if you do one more thing for me. Another task. What is it this time? It's simple. No hunting down monsters involved. Real simple. All you have to do is get me a date. A date with Andrea Anderson of the biology department. All right, whatever. Andrea typically hangs out in the upperclassmen's study room in the catacombs of the, of the biology section. I'll be waiting. I'll be awaiting word of her flying to my arms. Oh, I know. Tell her I can get her into the class production of War in the Stars, episode two. Those idiots are capping out when I've had tickets for weeks. Uh, okay, whatever. So let's. There's like a few more unexplored corridors here. I'm not sure if I want to explore all of them because it's not really important. And there's really not much loot to be gained anyway. But yeah, I'll probably uh, focus on the main quest for now. Actually, there's this one last area I wanted to explore. I wonder if there are some NPCs there, or just more monsters. Hey, library guardian is here. Challenge reading impossible. A spark of light created to guard the library portals. Oh, there's a we're at. Got him. And I think, yep. Yeah. There's a bunch of uh, goblins, of goblins. Very 
We're getting them. I might actually have to run away. Oh shit. Yep, familiar is dead. Yeah, I'll do that later. When I have, um... When I have more XP. Alright, let's go to biology. And let's rest for a bit. Summon familiar, then we're gonna summon our monster. Rest! Ah, stretch in real life as well. Alright, there we go. Then we summon our boar. Okay, got it. Quick save. And there's like skeletons up there. Yo, get them. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Ghouls can paralyze, so I need to kill that ghoul first. Oh, it's a cursed stranger. What are you resistant to? Nothing. The eyes of a curse show pain and madness. Such creatures suffer powerful magical curses and bind them to undeath. They know peace only when destroyed. Darkness will take you. Dead. And that's the last one. Alright, we cleared out this room. Time to go here. Oh, fire beetles. And there's a stag beetle. I need to actually take that out first. That deals a lot of damage. Stink beetle. And we're gonna match this with a stag beetle. Oh, ow, that hurt. That actually hurt a lot, holy shit. Uh-oh. Stay here. Stay there and access my decoy. I hear the battle calling! Attack! And they can't open doors, which is unfortunate for them. And now we can rest and resummon. We're just gonna slowly grind our way through this section. Alright, summon monster, summon familiar. I might have to mage armor them to make them last longer. Because uh, those uh, beetles deal mostly physical, well they only deal physical da attack, uh, physical damage. Rather they, their primary attack is, <laughs> I can't even English right now. Uh, their primary mode of dealing damage to me is through physical attacks, which is blocked by AC. So there we go. Okay, stink beetle. We're going down. Got it. No acid arrow on the stag beetle. Maybe a ray of frost. Dead. Okay. Fire Beetle's belly. Another thing here. Okay, Let's see, it's sort to the right. I think there's something here. Hey, here's our quest. Iko, Andrea Anderson, and Bea Co. Warm winds and hello. A student aide here in the hallowed biology upperclassmen study room. What do you seek, student aide? It, cer it certainly cannot be knowledge you are unsuited for. There's something I'm not getting here, which is, why is it that every student I meet in this school is either a fairly ordinary, amiable person or a completely egotistical nutjob who's drunk with power and assuming they're better than I am? You know who you're talking to? This is Andrea Anderson. 
He is down. He has a legitimate complaint. However, sir, I implore you to recognize the distinction between two things. One who talks large and one who can back up large words. Drunk with power is an excess. Those who act within their means, no matter how large that the means, are simply honest. Mm, I suppose that works for me. Then, if I may ask, what within my means can I aid you with? Uh, or something I'm not, else I'm not getting. Why biology is located in the crypt? Life and death are but two sides of a coin. Healing of sickness and disease and even death are biological spells. So are healing someone who is beyond the point of life back to unlife. It makes logical sense once one thinks about it. I want you to date... Uh, uh, who are the strong silent types? Friends of mine, they ensure that things are as they should be and they're none of your concern. I want you to date Ralph Neckerson. Mm-hmm. And is there a compelling reason why I should do this. I am quite sought after by the men of this campus, and most of them are more pleasing options than the likes of Ralph Neckerson. It's because I need access to planar studies so I can get a book for Dewey Plowshare, so I can get paid and Ralph won't help me unless I get him a date with you. That's quite a chain of events. You must be quite determined if you're willing to go this far. I applaud that sort of dedication, but unfortunately I would not go out with Ralph Neckerson if he was the last sentient being in this plane. Perhaps I can persuade you. Oh, persuade me then. Let's see how you fare. Look at it this way. You don't like Ralph. I have a job to do. If you work with me, yes, you'll have to date Ralph. But I'll, ha I'll have what I want and I'll and be long gone by then. Who says you have to follow through? Or better yet, do follow through and use the opportunity to, humili to completely humiliate Ralph in public. Don't see this as a nuisance. See it as an opportunity to prove you own the boy. Now, that is good thinking. Hmm, in that case, very well. I accept your proposal. You may inform Ralph that I will contact him regarding our date. Thank you, ma'am. I'm glad we could come to terms. Persuasion! Actually, I'm not sure if persuasion was involved in that, or if it was just a matter of choosing the right dialogue options. But while we're here, let's loot these containers. I think if I can't persuade, it, just persuade her, I have to go through that area there. That's locked area. What is that? Gloves of concentration, which I already have. And I don't think I can enter this area anymore because uh, I finished the quest by persuading her instead of uh, instead of doing it the hacky slashy way. Before we go though, there's this uh, student here who I can talk to to go to the air band concert. Jai Lai Lai. I don't know where he gets these names, but let's grab a book. Would you like something? Incantations for Healing, subsection 6 of the 3rd edition, uh, which, hello, I'm high. Hello there. Hello, uh, can I help you, sir? What are you up to? Just studying, files are coming up, and I need to be ready, so I'm studying. Would you like something? Interested in going to an airband concert tomorrow? A concert? Me? But I have studying to do, and I mean, I don't have anybody to go with, no real friends, and I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Are you, uh, uh, are you asking me out on a date? What? Of course. Uh, sure thing, babes. Let's rock the Caspa. I really should get back to studying. Excuse me. Would Let's try something study? else. Airband. It'll be fun. Honestly, I'm afraid not, but I really think you'd have fun if you went anyway. Well, I can't say I blame you, really. I mean, I'm not very, um, I should get back to studying, but I would like to have some fun. It'll be fun, right? I mean, even if I go by myself? Sure, popular music, popular times. What's that like? Popular? Really? Well, okay, I'll go. I guess I can. Maybe I can meet some new friends there. Oh, boys. Better get back to studying. Got it. So that's like, three people I've convinced to join. I think the last two are in uh, planar studies. So while we're here, let's just finish off the monsters here. Uh, monsters here, I guess. Oh, there it is. A skeleton mage and a skeleton chieftain. Let's frag this mage first. Or can cast anything. Boom. Dead. Skeleton chieftain has magic resistance, so I'm glad I have spell penetration. And magic missile. Oh, it's dead. I might actually die here. Oh shit! Yeah, I might actually die. Anyway, one last try. <laughs> Respawn! Yeah, shortcut. 
In case y'all are wondering why I don't just save and reload, it's because I have a policy of not reloading unless the game is stuck or if I, you know, just die permanently, in which case I'll reload the last save I made. Otherwise, this is a sort of hardcore run. Semi-hardcore, rather. Alright, let's go back to Magicanical Engineering. I'm probably gonna uh, just finish up the plot today because I have my streams running a bit late. Normally I stream for about an hour and 30 minutes and I only have several minutes left. And I need to clean up my apartment because there's this uh, burning smell uh, from the uh, cooking I did earlier that I need to clean up. Yes, do make it quick. Uh, good news, Andrea will go out with you. Can I have access now? You're kidding. You did it. Somehow you actually did it. Hey, this is officially the best day of my life. I owe access. Well, I guess you earned it. Although I don't feel right letting the likes of you step into that hole, onto that holy ground. Here you go. One tiny enchantment that tells the guardians I'm allowing you to play their studies. Enjoy. Before I go... Uh, nothing? Alright. Well then, I'll later. I wouldn't say that to him because I'm, I'm nice. That's not my thing. Being mean is not my thing. Alrighty, so a lot of the monsters in this uh, in this module are too difficult to uh, handle sometimes. So let's have to go to planar uh, biology. Here we go, planar studies. Before we continue, let us rest so I can have my minions out to protect me. There we go. And there's some foreshadowing in this module. Like, this is the second module that Mr. Gagne uh, made for Penultima. And already he's laying out the foundation for the second campaign. I think if I go right here. See, these are the uh, fairies of foreshadowing. And there's this guy. A little one with a big heart, a little cold in a big place. Little things can become big problems. A little place with a big secret, a big lie with a little truth. A little truth will be your big challenge. You do so much for so little, so little means so much here. Foreshadowing! Or Penultima Reloaded. What is that? Is that the quickie teleport to library? That's where I need to go. And uh, let's grab this guy first. Or the. Uh... Oh, what was that? T fleeing dead? Whoa! Bunch of blink dogs. Facing widely held stereotypes of being twisted, devious, or untrustworthy, all T fleeings can trace their bloodline back to some sort of fiendish origin. Oh, okay. They died. Blink dogs. An intelligent predatory canine with limited teleportation abilities, blink dogs hunt in packs, blinking randomly until they surround their prey. So this is the, I think the, one of the guys we can ask out to go to the air band concert. Zelan Reshtag. Hello. Well, hello there. So far from home, aren't you? So far off the beaten path. It's a lovely day. Sit and enjoy the shade. What are you doing here? Relaxing, resting, preparing myself for finals. Others study until their eyes burn and their brains cook, but I prefer a more peaceful approach. What's with those pixies over there? The delightful little ones, aren't they? They can see the future. They'd like to give you hints, obscured through, obscured though the hints may be. You know how it is they came to have this power. No, how? Ah, that is a secret. Interested in going to an air band concert tomorrow? Why, yes, I've been planning to go since before that band was formed. I'll be there with bells on. Since before that band was um, okay. Dun, dun, dun. I'm looking for a thesis paper. Yes, yes, I know, and I wish you luck. But why should I? You will succeed. It's simply to be. How did you know that? Ah, that is a secret. I'll be going now. And I think there's uh, one more 
person we can ask out. They would be over here, but uh, let's see if we can go here. And nope, it just loops around. Basically, I can't go too crazy exploring this place because a lot of the a lot of the monsters are really, really fucking powerful, and will just outright destroy me. Also, there's a lot of walking to be done. A lot of it. And I'm kind of running out of time. Okay. Sal Alziner. Pleased to see you. Zelan, have you seen my... You're not Zelan, you're, study, you're student aides. Student aides have played our studies. Now I've seen everything. Uh, interested in going to an airband concert tomorrow? I would if I could, but I've got to finish this hyperspace transformation project by tomorrow. Sorry. Pleased to see you. I'm looking for a thesis paper that was moved here. A thesis? Are you nuts? It's suicide trying to dig a thesis out of this section. Turn back, I say. Whatever you're being paid as an aide is not worth it. I've done too much already. No turning back now. A, it's your funeral. Hope someone spots your shattered body in time to drag you off to the medical ward. What's so bad about getting a thesis? Okay, look at it this way. The library is restricted due to danger it poses to students. Thesis papers are restricted due to the advanced knowledge they contain. Planar studies is restricted further since it's the most extreme of the extreme. Now multiply all three together and you get... I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. This is looking less and less like a library. Once you've reached this point, there's only so much books can teach you. Mostly we learn directly from our professors. What are you doing? Hyperspace transformational theory is the nuts and bolts of the planar allocation system that allows places like this to exist. <laughs> Hyperspace hypertext transfer protocol. Okay. My ultimate goal is to design a perfect little niche of reality and move in full time while commuting to the real world for my career, of course. I haven't gone evil hermit wizard or anything. Ah, back to studying with you. I wonder who the last person to ask out is. Uh, we haven't been to the classrooms yet. Oh, I think it might be that lady we rescued in uh, Applied's. Oh, right, Tal Al Nice, Al Nes, the lady in Applied uh, Applied Magic. Oh, water elemental. What the fuck? Okay, that thing's dangerous because they can instantly kill you with their pulse attack. Need to be careful not to run too far. Magic missile. All right, we killed it before it saved or died us. Oh, there's an earth elemental. All right, acid arrow. Dead. Oh, what's this? A locked tower. You bash it open? Nope. My minions aren't bashing it open, so it's probably locked. Some random chanting in the distance. This is not it. I think I need to go here and go there. Alrighty. Uh, is that the right spot? Yes, I am headed the right oh are you kidding me my okay okay I, I went the wrong way god damn it hey what are those shadows guess we're gonna have some XP Acid arrow, acid arrow, dead. Dead, and magic missile. Okay, 
Oh, was I seriously supposed to go this way? God damn it. That sucks. Oh, that was tough. Got it! It's dead! Oh, there's one more! Okay. Shadow. Got it. Well, that sucks. I went the wrong way. Oof. Okay, so let's head this way. So while I'm backtracking, because I went the wrong way, I feel like I should say s hmm. What was I about to say? Alright, so yesterday I actually did something I didn't think I would ever do. I broke my boycott of EA by purchasing Command & Conquer Remastered. Uh, it was during the Steam sale, I also purchased uh, Sacrifice, an old... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. RTS, a very non-traditional RTS game from Shiny Entertainment. And I also pre-ordered Vampire Bloodlines 2. So that's two things I didn't expect to ever do. Pre-order a game and buy something from EA. But, you know, all the good press I've heard about Command Conquer Remastered convinced me to break my boycott. Finally, after such a long time. I've been boycotting them since 2009 with the release of Dragon Age Origins. I only bought Dragon Age Origins because I didn't realize it was published by EA. I wasn't as well versed in, uh, I guess, video game politics back then to know who owned who. So I bought it without knowing they were owned by EA. Uh, I was actually like boycotting them even during the time of Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath. That was an expansion for Command & Conquer 3 that they released and then abandoned after only two patches. Now, they did come back to it many years later to release a patch out of the blue, but by then the community had died out already. Which is kinda kinda sad. I mean, the game had potential. But, you know, that's EA for you. They just want a quick cash grab instead of something, uh, something that earns them more money in the long run. And it's weird though. I've noticed EA has gotten a lot better in the past, uh, few years compared to, let's say, Blizzard. Blizzard has just gone uh, insane. Oh, that's a- oh, I got feared! Fuck. Well, I'm just gonna wait here. I can't do anything. Click. And click again. I should not do that. Oh, they died. Uh, magic missile. Dead. Oh, 100 XP. Nice. A nice chunk of XP. You're gonna die. I'm gonna resummon. Oh wow, he's he he got killed to death. Got it. Yep, I had to go here anyways. It wasn't out of the beaten... It wasn't out of the way. I just had to make a detour here, then go here. Alright, time to rest again. <laughs> because we kind of exhausted all of our spells. Next level, I'll be able to take Fireball. Which should help speed up these uh, encounters. All right, quick save. Let's go. Are there monsters here? Most likely, no. Nope. Oh, there are. There are monsters here. Shadows. So I'll just acid arrow them. The thing about Neverwinter Nights is that the way acid arrow works, it doesn't stack with itself. So if you cast it on someone who already has an acid arrow effect, it just does nothing. Okay, do I have a restoration? I do not have a fucking restoration, so I can actually die if I... Uh... Oh, ow! Oh my, that is dangerous. Strength damage attack. 
Let's see, Ray of Frost. Also, Ray of Frost hits automatically in Neverwinter Nights 1. I don't need to make an attack roll. Normally, it's really bad against Shadows because they uh, have like a 50% chance to dodge any physical attack. So, normally I never use it on them, but since it auto hits here like a really, like a low level magic missile, it's pretty good. Alright. One more magic missile and he should be out. And it's dead. I'm getting good XP here. Alright, do I turn right or forward? Oh, okay. This one leads to the thesis area. Ooh, this looks like spiders. Yep, spiders. I was right. Okay, they aren't that strong. And of course, an earth elemental as well. And I'm being chased by a dark spider. <laughs> Betty Hill intensifies. Let's re let's resummon our familiar here. There we go. That's magic missile. Oh wow, you're a tough one. Very difficult. I might actually die here. Yep! Ah, heck. I really, really would rather not have to backtrack all the way. That would really fucking suck. I might have to lure this spider to one of the students here to help me fight it. Or just kite it like this. Got it! Nice chunk of XP too. There we go, and we rest. If I go back and clear out all the monsters in this module, I might be able to actually level up to 6, if I don't level up by the end of this quest. So now, I might actually cast Mage Armor on y'all to uh, make you tougher against those physical combatants. Alright, quick save. a bell tolling in the background not the one across the street from me all right so what was that dire spider dire spider all right is that a very yeah, it is very difficult attack I hear the battle calling attack Took damage. Wait, I need to resummon my boar. And that spider's dead. One more. Oh, it's dead. Good. Now to kill the earth elemental, which is easier than the spider. There we go. <laughs> I 
we're having to rest every combat. Holy shit. Yeah, this model is pretty hard. Alright, time to cast this. Quick save. And... Don't tell me we're in the wrong place. Oh, I had to go through there. Where can I go here? Yes, we can. So we can go here, turn left. <laughs> dead student aid. Okay, it's a dead person. Thesis papers. Oh, rapier. Unidentified, so, which means it costs a lot of money. Note from Aid's client. I'm looking for Infernus Eternum and other staves of planar power. It should be under call sign E E O O O one if, Remember, if you're killed by the book guardian, you don't get paid. Looks like you didn't get paid yet. You get paid then. So this is a reference to his other, uh, other module series, the Eternum series, which is like one of the other things I really like. Another campaign I really, really like from Neverwinter Nights 1. Alright. Let's do this. And try not to get killed to death. I think there's like a boss fight here. Yep, there's a blue slot. I need to kill that thing really quickly. Because uh, it regenerates. Oh, it's resistant to acid. God damn it. Oh, I'm held. Shit. Well, um, <laughs> I guess I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah, oh, that sucks. Respawn. Yep, I have to run all the way back. Because I failed my saving throw. Ah, well. I mean, it did recharge my spells. I think, no, it did not. It did not recharge my spells. Rest. Familiar. Some creature 2. I mean, do I really need to fight it? I can just grab the thesis. I can basically just grab the thesis paper while my minions are busy fighting it. Go, let's go to planar studies. Oh, wow, that is a long way. Long way to backtrack. So I didn't expect this uh, this to take so long, even with not much dialogue compared to the normal Neverwinter Nights uh, <laughs> official campaign. Because there's, uh, there's a lot of walking to do. Well, anyway, um, I purchased the Command & Conquer Remastered. I think no, it wasn't yesterday. It was two days ago. And I plan on installing it and maybe playing it on stream. Um, Command Call for Red Alert was the first video PC video game I played. Uh, I wasn't really much of a PC gamer back in the day. I was more of a console gamer. And then I went to the Cyber Cafe to play the video game version of Magic the Gathering. It was the one made by Microprose. Uh, the Chandelier Magic the Gathering game. And then I looked to my right and there was this person playing a game where this truck was harvesting candy. And... It seemed like they were controlling lots of soldiers and tanks and whatnot to fight for them. And then I noticed the A bomb icon on the right side of the screen, the sidebar. And I asked, "Hey, how do you how do you, how do you build an A bomb?" And they said, "Yeah, you can. You do it. You do it like this. And you can nuke people." All right, I'm in. So that's that was my introduction to PC gaming because I saw someone playing Red Alert and they had an A bomb ready and I wanted to play it. I later learned that the candy that they were collecting was the. Uh, the gems of the game, the 
the I guess the the more powerful resource. Run, run, run. Oh, ow, that hurts. Okay, books, books. Operation Plowshare. No wonder this got locked away. It's a com complete theory of how to use incredibly destructive, destructive high energy magic to do simple things like till the soil and plant beans. One could apply the knowledge in this book to something more than mere farming. One we're so aligned. All right, let's get out of here. We did it, Reddit. We did it. Oh shit! They followed us. I hear the battle calling. Attack! They acid arrow you. Okay, you are resistant to acid. And there's some of those, so it will not give me XP anyway. Got it. Well. <laughs> One HP, holy shit. Alright, let's go here. And, uh... Ask one of the Alnes sisters to go to the airband concert. I think that's her. We need to ask the last one. Warm winds and hello. Airband. Airband, what are you talking about? Negative energy ray and the enchanters are doing a concert at the ME Theater tomorrow. Will you be there? Hmm, well, I will have my studying done by then, so I don't see why not. Count me in. We've gotten five people to agree to go to, you, to the concert. Return to Ray to collect your reward. Alright, Magicanical Engineering. I think it's here. Right, let's rest for a bit before we die to some random encounter. Alrighty, let's go. Be here, then turn right. Goodness, I've gotten so many miles on my frequent on my I've gotten so many frequent dying miles on my good get good express card from this game. <sighs> it took longer than usual. Uh, than I expected rather. Hello. Okay, I got Lai Lai Ness, Leaping, Zelan Reshtag, Jaya Lai, and Archie Spirit to agree to go to your concert. Can I have my reward? Hey, hey, good work, good work. A reward is yours. Have this and my thanks. Stay cool. Much obliged. A harp. Autographed harp. A genuine one-of-a-kind harp autographed by Baron Edward von Halen himself. You can fetch a fine price for this from a collector. It's a limited use charm person, but it's only usable by a bard, and it's only level 2, so it only lasts a few rounds anyway. And charm person sucks in this game anyway, compared to other games. So it's not worth it. It's just worth selling for money. We can get more stuff to kill stuff with. Anyway, I don't really feel like being a completionist. I can, uh, I'm just gonna turn in the quest. I might even like clear out the uh, the rest of the. Uh... Oh no, there, there's still one more part of this. There's uh, where we go to the classroom. Hello. I finally got access to planar studies. Really, that's great. Okay, when you get Operation Plowshare, bring it up here to me and your job will be done. Thanks. Hello. Did somebody order a copy of Operation Plowshare? Okay, I got you one. Enjoy. You got it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm afraid I don't have much, much to offer in terms of reward, but I hope you'll find it satisfactory. Thank you so very much. Eh, all in the day's work. Help, we need help, quick. Oi, you're the one who'd been doing the work for Dewey. We got the situation you could help us with, a bad one. What's the trouble? According to Earl on my communication linker, there's been an accident in the classrooms and Dawn stuck down there with some big honking demon. Dawn? As in Dawn Ayosa? Right, exactly. You gotta hurry. Here's a pass to enter the classrooms. Go! Let's go to enter the classroom. The classroom? What is this? Classrooms. Yes, let's go. 
Only authorized students may enter. There's the Virgil and the Summon Balor, which we can't really do anything anyway. We're too low level to do anything to it, and our our spells are too weak to affect it. So we're just have we're just gonna have Dawn solo the thing. But anyway, we're just gonna pretend we're actually helping. Yeah, we did it, Reddit. Actually, per, uh, Pierce is magic, magic resist, uh, spell resistance once. Interesting. So let's loot the remains. And six gold. Well, hello there. <sighs> We're lucky we survived that. Good to see you again, Plowshare, and thanks. Anytime. There is more. There is more than luck here at work. Do you not see Dawn? She is responsible for this madness. She summoned the Balor. She, you mean. Sally wouldn't do this. She she wouldn't. She can't be that far gone. Do not let yourself be blinded by your friendship. Sally Malevolent summoned a Minotaur to stop your friend here. And she summoned this Balor to destroy you and I. Actually, Vigil summoned the Balor. But we won't find that out until much, much later. I agree. She's up to something that needs to be stopped. It's as cut and dry as this valley is plain. I must investigate her plans immediately. I will see you another time, Don Eosa. As for you, I may have use of you. Contact me at Moonlight Forest as soon as you are ready. Understood. But Vigil. Debug. Vigil vanishes. Well, hello there. I just don't know what to make of all of this anymore. I'm sorry. Okay. Someone was there to help you out, and the whole lot of you took down the monster. Good work. Your quests in this area of Penultima are now over. You may explore the school some more, or talk to a fairy by any of the Octo Gates to return to Penultima City. I will actually explore more next time, because I'm running really, really, really late. So anyway, let's save this game. Save. Plowshare. Penultima O2. And I didn't level up this session. Uh, I will probably level up next session. And I will have to rename my familiar to Swords. Because Swords is the familiar of Plowshare. Torches is the familiar of Pitchfork. Those are two of my D&D characters. Save game. And exit. Alright, to those of you uh, watching, thank you for uh, tuning in to this stream. I will be back not tomorrow, but on Thursday. Wednesday is my one day off of the week, and I generally do not stream on my one day off because it is my time to do some adulting, like laundry and cleaning up my apartment and buying groceries and getting my meds from the pharmacy. So anyway, folks, good day, and I'll see you all in two days. This has been Dale Ketter. Thank you. <laughs>